Hi everyone, my name is Jesse Robbins, and welcome to LPLE from Dialogue FM. We're the podcast that lets you practice listening in English. We speak English slowly and clearly, so that you can follow along and understand native English speakers more easily. I'm excited to help you improve your English listening skill, as well as help you learn new vocabulary, grammar, and idioms commonly heard in conversations among native English speakers. If you want to practice listening in English, then we invite you to join our conversation. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jesse. Good morning. Yes, it's an early morning <laughs> and a lovely morning. Indeed. And getting colder by the minute. We are in a very unusual、uh, time for our weather right now. So this is, to me, this is perfect. This is my favorite kind of weather.、Um, it's early fall. We're in early October. The morning air is clean and crisp and cold.、Uh, the, the sky is clear blue right from the morning. It's the first thing you see.、Um, You, you, you got you go outside. It, it, it's cold, but you the sun warms you a little bit,、uh, and, and then throughout the day it, it gets warmer and warmer.、Uh, it just feels nice. Like how, how do you think about this? Well, I agree with all of it, and especially what I love is also, well, everything you said, but also around sunset. The golden light and the leaves turning、yep. is just spectacular. That's right. The trouble with me is that I know that November is coming, and、yeah. the sky will be gray, 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 and rainy. So I have to admit, I need to stop thinking about November and just enjoy this time right now. Yeah, yeah. I. There,、uh, I have many clothes that I cannot wear during the summer、uh, that I'm excited to start wearing now.、Um, now that the weather <laughs> is colder,、um, the、uh, Jane, when we record these podcasts、um, for our listeners to practice listening in English. We also sometimes record these conversations because they are a snapshot. They are a picture,、uh, a memory, if you will, of、uh, where we are at that moment. What's happening in the world around us at that moment? And because you and I,、um, we we really enjoy、uh, our, our friendship and our and and our conversations together, we can talk about these situations, these events,、um, uh, as a way to not really, maybe not really feel better, but. Just we use the word vent, right? To vent, v e n t, which means、yes. to let out, let out your emotions. Usually, st- stressful emotions, stressful feelings.、Um, we we sometimes use、uh, this podcast to to vent about certain things. You you remember the election? <laughs>、uh, oh, after- how could I forget? <laughs> <laughs> We are constantly reminded of it.、Um, well, after the election, after our presidential election, you and I recorded、um, an episode, and we talked about how we felt、uh, about the election, 
And that was our way, you know, that was a way for two friends to, who typically agree on many things, especially politically, uh, to, to vent and to just let out their emotions. Uh, for today, I feel we need to do that again, um, with, um, the, the now globally known, uh, mass shooting, um, that happened in our country again, uh, this time in the city, the beautiful, exciting city of Las Vegas. Um, yes, it ha- it happened Sunday night, um, late Sunday night. Uh, it, it, for for the LPLE listeners who who don't know about this, but I'm sh- I'm sure if you've read social media or you have read your n- news uh, uh, publication online ch- in any country, chances are you will have heard about the story. Uh, there was another mass shooting. Uh, I think this time 59 people um, were killed, were murdered. Uh, and it's really sad. It's it's really, really, really sad. Um, I think a total of some 500 were wounded. Is that not right. correct? That's true. Right. I think that's, I think that's true. That's true. Yeah. I, you're absolutely right. We cannot, definitely cannot forget about those who were injured, um, as well. Uh, I want to start this conversation by asking you, Jane, uh, what were your, uh, emotions? What was, uh, what was the first thing that went through your mind when you heard about this news? Well, I learned about it gradually. My husband actually heard about it first, and he used some pretty bad language, which I would have used myself. He said, this country is so <clears throat> up. Yeah. All right? Yeah. That was the first thing he said. And I said, well, I agree, but why are you saying that now? And he told me. What I didn't know right away was the incredible number of people affected, the type of weapon, the whole background of the weaponry. So I would say that the information came to me in little pieces and I am just, I can't even absorb it. It's so huge. If we think about it, the huge event of 20, well, 2001, 9-11-2001, we lost 3,000 or so people. If you mm-hmm. figure that basically, what, uh, what percent, a similar number were affected there just because one guy had a weapon that could shoot and shoot and shoot. Uh, it, it, it's terrifying. And it disturbs me even more that most of the shootings that happen here, not all, but most, are not terrorists from outside. They're from right. inside. Right. And we are busy worrying about something that the facts don't support. And at the same time, we are incapable of doing something that is becoming, doing something to cure an epidemic. So, you know, I'm numb more than angry. I think numb, N-U-M-B. I almost can't feel anything because it's so huge. Right. How about you? <laughs> well, I, I, before I, um, I, uh, I go into, before I explain, uh, like how I felt, um, and, and what went through my head, um, Jane, I want to ask you, uh, another question. Uh, you and I both are, 
constantly、um, interacting with the international students, right? I mean, you teach、um, ESL,、uh, and I'm a language partner uh, to um, uh, to three Japanese people and three Vietnamese people. <clears throat> mm. um, so because We are constantly、um, uh, surrounded by and in- interacting with、uh, people who are not, or at least not yet, Americans.、Uh, how does this ever come up in conversation with your students?、Um, do they ask? Questions? Do they make comments?、Um, uh, you know, I, I'd be curious, like how this kind of mass shooting comes up in in conversation with the the international people around you. This particular situation has not been discussed in my classes yet, only because this particular. Quarter, this particular academic quarter, my students are beginners, so they don't have the language. Another thing I have noticed is that students are very careful not to say anything critical. If I say something, then they might. Add something, but students rarely ask me. I think they don't want to offend me,、mm-hmm. or because they don't know what I think.、Um, also, perhaps culturally, asking delicate questions to an older person who is not their family could be considered impolite. Certainly, if I bring the situation up, students are inter- very interested to hear, but they still hold back from expressing much opinion. I did have a comment from a woman from Afghanistan who said that she thought President Trump was maybe dangerous. Mm. But that is that is the most that my students have been willing to say. What about your language partners? I think your relationship is more equal、uh, than perhaps the teacher-student relationship that I have. What、that's、about a, that? That's a really good point.、Um, my language partners are. Usually,、um, uh, in their mid、uh, mid twenties to early forties.、Um, mm-hmm. So, and it's also not a teacher student relationship. It's a、uh, peer to peer relationship. Like you said,、uh, we the, we feel more equal to each other. Also. The language level is higher.、Um, most of my language partners, in fact, all of my language partners, already have a、um, a, a medium to、uh, advanced、uh, level of English. So、uh, they can ask questions and they can express their opinions about things. Uh, in this regard, <clears throat>、um, this、uh, the <laughs> my language partners the, usually they ask questions. They're not giving opinions, but they ask really、um, uh, direct and、uh, poignant questions. Uh, uh, And these questions usually mean that、uh, they have an opinion about it. So, for example, the question would be, "Why do you、uh, 
um, why is it uh, legal for people to buy guns? That's a that's a basic question, right? But if you、yes. if you if you hear how the question is asked, it's it's the question is more of an opinion, right? The question、yes. becomes right. So the、um, he wants he or she wants to know why America loves guns, but the question implies a meaning. Uh, of uh, of uh, maybe he thinks that we love guns too much,、um, or that we are a gun obsessed culture.、Um, so uh, the, my language partners、um, express their opinions through the questions that they ask, which I think is pretty nice.、Um, I I always encourage them to share with me their honest opinion. Um, but if they want to ask questions,、um, or if they want to share their opinion in the form of a question, then that's okay too.、Um, <clears throat> I uh, uh, I was in bed on Sunday night.、Uh, it was around eleven o'clock at night. My wife was asleep. My baby son was sleeping next to me. Uh, and uh, I usually like、um, uh, read the news on my phone before going to sleep. Uh oh. Yeah. So I I was reading about this、uh, ongoing mass shooting as it was happening. Uh, right before I was going to sleep,、um, I, I bet you I, didn't I, sleep much. Well, I mean, I I didn't.、Um, okay, here's the thing. You know, Jane, how you said you felt numb. You feel numb. N U M B, right?、Uh, yes. And, and numb means to be without feeling. To lack feeling, emotional feeling, physical feeling, right?、Um, yes. I too felt numb. I read the news, and I thought, "Here we go again, another mass、yes. shooting."、Um, so, in all honesty, I was not shocked. I was not shocked. I was not surprised. I went to sleep.、Um, I went uh, to sleep.、Uh-huh. I woke up, uh, and uh, uh, the news got worse. the 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 aftermath of the shooting、um, was much worse than、uh, what it was when I went to sleep.、Uh, so I woke up. I read the news、uh, again. And then I felt angry, so I, I went from feeling nothing,、uh, from feeling numb, to just feeling so angry. Yes,、um, I, I've I've been told、um, uh, many times that anger is a secondary emotion.、Um, you 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 feel you feel one emotion, and then anger. Anger is an emotion that comes after. So if yes, you're scared,、kind of, right? Right. Yes, like an antidote to fear or grief, surprise, yeah, or grief, yeah.、Um, yes. So, um, this time I felt really angry, um,、mm. because, uh, well, it's interesting. I felt hang- angry and hopeless. Um, hopeless meaning you feel like you don't have hope that there's nothing you can do.、Um, yes, and it's true. It's absolutely true. In my in my opinion, of course, I mean nothing is going to change. I felt angry because I knew how I knew what was going to happen after. 
I knew that Americans are going to be s- s- shocked, sad, angry, surprised.、Um, we're going to talk about thoughts and prayers. We're going to、um, talk about the need for gun control.、Um, there are going to be many people who say we don't need gun control.、Uh, there are going to be many people who say. It's too soon to talk about politics after a mass shooting.、Uh, we are going to forget after a week because something else crazy is going to happen. A hurricane, our president doing something stupid, another mass shooting.、Uh, yes. And we're going to forget. So I, I felt. I felt、uh, after not having any feelings,、um, I, the the second wave of feeling was just anger and hopelessness. I think hopelessness came first, and then that was the first emotion. Hopelessness was the first emotion.、Uh, anger was the second emotion. And、uh, yeah, and how are you place- now? I <laughs> feel the same way.、Anger? Yeah. You can hear it. You can hear it in my voice. You can hear the、uh, the frustration. Frustration. I'm talking, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking very slowly. Yeah. In these podcasts,、um, you know, I, I want our listeners to understand.、Uh, but I also realize that when we talk slowly, sometimes we can we can lose the emotional meaning. In our voice, and and I don't think that's the case this time. I can talk slowly and clearly, and still, I I can I can hear the anger and frustration in my voice.、Um, yes, and, the and in your words, yes. Yeah, I think a sense of hopelessness is. Very much a part of what many of us feel now, not just because of this shooting, but this shooting adds to it. Yeah, that's that. I agree.、Um, yeah. So、uh, I, I just, Jane, I, I thank you so much for for one、um, your friendship. Two for being my co-host、uh, for LPLE, and three for、uh, allowing both of us the chance to share our emotions,、uh, honest emotions,、uh, with each other over the microphone.、Um, uh, I really need this <laughs> this opportunity. We all need to be able to do that. And I am grateful too that we can, and always interested to see how different we are in so many ways. Yeah. But how similar? It's very interesting and very gratifying. Yes, I agree. I agree.、Um, it's uh, it's almost eight thirty、uh, in the morning.、Uh, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Oh, very busy but very pleasant. Yesterday I taught for eight hours in a row.、Oh. Wow! And I was, <laughs> I know. So I was so exhausted. I went to bed ridiculously early. Today I teach only a little bit. I will. Prepare the house for company coming for dinner tomorrow. I will coach a new teacher, and I will visit old friends and probably talk a little bit about some of this these same problems, because my two friends、uh, have lived in the United States for a long time. But one of them is from France, and the other is from Spain. And I will be very eager to hear what they have to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you? Yeah. What's、uh, happening today, with you today? Well,、uh, 
uh, our friend from China、um, who has been staying in our house、uh, for almost two weeks、uh, returns back to China today. So at ten thirty, I'm going to take him to the airport,、um, and then. Uh, take care of my son,、um, do work from home,、uh, and then、uh, that's it. It's, it's hopefully, <laughs> it will be a somewhat relaxing day.、Um, I will probably go to a cafe with my son just to、um, take a walk and relax a little bit, enjoy the beautiful、uh, weather we have today.、Um, yes, yeah, that's it. Just to be out in the world. Do you have a favorite cafe? Near I do.、You? I do. What is it? I do.、Uh, it's called Lay's、uh, B- Deli and Bakery.、Um, so Lay is a Vietnamese last name, and it's a Vietnamese uh, style um, uh, deli and bakery.、Um, mm. the, the people inside、um, are all Vietnamese.、Uh, the staff、uh, are all Vietnamese.、Um, And they know I speak Vietnamese, so any time I want, I can go there and、uh, have a conversation、uh, with them in Vietnamese, and it will kind of feel like I'm in Vietnam. So it's a, fantastic. It's, it's really that's my <laughs> that's absolutely my favorite cafe.、Um, they they know the drink I always order, so that's easy.、Um, Uh, it just feels like a、uh, like I have a, fa- a, a neighborhood cafe now,、um, which I really like,、uh, and、uh, a bonus that I can speak Vietnamese、uh, anytime I want, which is also really nice. <laughs> I hear your voice warming up right now. Yeah, which is yep, very good to、it. see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That sounds wonderful.、Well. Well, uh, uh, thanks as always,、uh, Jane,、um, and uh, uh, hopefully the the next conversation we have will be <laughs> more lighthearted,、um, and uh, uh, we and and I also hope moving forward that we will need less we will need less opportunities to vent,、um, but、uh, <laughs> <Yes> . nevertheless. <laughs> um, I I hope you have a wonderful day today, and I will talk to you soon. Great, and same to you. And give a big hug to Vincent for me, okay? I will. Thanks. Bye, Jesse. Bye, bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of LPLE. Let's practice listening in English from Dialogue FM. Subscribe to LPLE on iTunes to hear the latest episodes, or listen to past episodes on our website, dialogue.fm. That's D-I-A-L-O-G.fm. If you have questions or comments about English, or if you would like for us to use a word, grammar, or idiom in our conversation, so you can learn how to use it correctly. We would love to hear from you on Twitter at dialogue.fm or Facebook at facebook.com/dialogue.fm.